Hey, welcome to part two of our wild plant adventures with uh, Doug Elliott and Frank Cook. And our home base for this weekend's activities are at the Sunnybank Inn, and the sign behind tells that it has a long history of great music. They don't care. Dandelions, they never take a vacation. They always popping up without invitation. Dandelion, there's always enough to share. Well, I went to the store where the gardeners go to buy me some dandelion seeds. The man behind the counter said, son, don't you know? You don't have to plant them. They grow like a weed. Wow! Dandelion. Well, I'm interested in any way that people can connect to plants because it can tell me about it. And of mm -hmm. course, stories and songs are, mm -hmm. are part, of the, part of the program. Dandelion, blow those seeds and make wishes. For money, world peace, or lots of sweet kisses. Dandelions, they'll make your wishes come true. <laughs> My name is Frank Cook, mm -hmm. and my co connection to the wild plants are that I love them, and eat them, and dance with them, and breathe from them, and, and in a sense, I am a plant, mm -hmm. as I think we all are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who knows this by looking at this? Anybody? What family? Composite. Opposite leaves, mm -hmm. square yeah. stem. Yeah. All right. yeah. So remember, other things have opposite leaves, other things have square stems. So you want to look for a number of things that help you to identify. This doesn't really have a smell. Not all mints have a smell. Not no smell, really. So this this is what will help you see that you're looking at peel all, self heal. Prunella. Prunella, right. Prunella vulgaris. The name like self heal, heal all, those of you who aren't herbalists know, would say, well, gosh, this must be such a valuable plant. I bet half the medicines in English. Uh, used to have this in it. Yeah, you, you show me a medicine, I'll, I'll be impressed. I mean, there are a few. Generally, this is not in the medicines. Why? Because we've gotten addicted to active constituents, and we've got to turn the corner on that. We've got to get out of that mindset. Because it took us to a place of being respected. It brought in the economics and business. But now we're losing it again. And now it's becoming, you know, the codex forms and the whole movement of prescriptions and doctors and all that. So we've got to turn the corner again. We've got to get back to the whole plant the whole being. It's fine to know the uses of plants and all that good stuff, but don't just go around using plants. Just like, you don't just go around using your friends. You won't keep them for very long, right? So it's about relationships. It's about giving and speaking kind words to them and, and having a relationship. And I think that's who this is. I think the Heal All, Prunella, has been in the formulas for hundreds and hundreds of years because it's just a nice one to have along. I think she's just good for formulas. She's good when you're making up, good to put in the teas, good to include in your salads, good to speak nicely about. Um, all these things, Prunella vulgaris. Vulgaris means of the common people. We saw another vulgaris earlier really today. Remember that one? That's right, good. Artemisia vulgaris. These are the plants of the common people. You know, so this is a plant of the common people, and it's, if you read the old apothecaries, it's highly revered. So I just, I feel like we need to include it more in our formulas, and it's just a good friend to have along. It's nice, nice plant. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to love her. And she gets ignored by So Artemisia is, um, I always think of it as the guardian of the, of the dream time. And, you know, I used to think that that idea of making dream pillows had been passed on, but when I talk to the children now, no one... Now, who here has made a dream pillow before? Okay, well, three or four, but you see how it, we need to keep this alive, because it really is powerful. If you make a pillow of it, you can uh, then go to bed at night and sleep with it, and it helps enhance your dreams. Someone just gave me one recently, so I've been taking it to bed with me. So it's, uh, it's amazing, it's with us, it's, it's one of these amazing agents of helping us understand. We spend a third of our year lives sleeping, 
So we might as well get to know that territory better, and I think this is one of the herbs that helps with that, as well as lots of good medicine. So it's good to have it around and know where it is growing. I think they're the agents of the changes on the planet. They're, they're here to um, remind us and inspire us and uh, give us confidence and for the evolution that we need to go through to, to get back in line with our with why we're really here. Mm -hmm. So I heard you say earlier that um, you know you recommended that everybody eat at least one wild thing per day. Yeah. Why do you recommend that? Well, I think when you eat something wild, it changes you. It's turning on, we got to turn our senses back on again mm -hmm. and sort of reach out and recognize that we have that connection mm -hmm. by just nibbling on something each day. Can you let us know what your website yeah, is? Yeah, it's uh, plantsandhealers.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I teach around the country throughout the year when I'm not traveling to other countries. I'm trying to meet all the genera of the world. So there's about 5,000 different kinds of plants in the world. So. I've met about 3,000 of them, and uh, so I travel a few months out of the year. But other than that, I'm teaching uh, in the east and west and middle of the country. Mm -hmm. This is my eighth year teaching. Uh, there's a book called Botany in a Day by Thomas Eppel, and you can go to his website um, and get that book if you're interested. And I actually have a few copies if anyone wants one. It, it looks at families of plants and the patterns of how families can be recognized. I think it's one of the most important things to, to know about plants. I just wanted to say, you know, this will be around if you want to check it out. And uh, I'm doing an online discussion group uh, every two weeks starting next week. Uh, you'll get a mailing that discusses families of plants and encourages you to go out in the woods or your land or your friend's land or a park nearby and start doing, engaging the land in order to know the families around them. So if you're interested in that, you can send an email to planttalk2008 at yahoo.com. We got a bag. It gets hard to carry. Now. What you got, Frank? <laughs> got a morel. <laughs> brain, brain food. Yeah. <laughs> we found a bunch of down black birch, probably from the Forest Service, and so we are taking the score here. And everybody is busy, 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 getting a year's supply of black birch, stripping the leaves off and using those young twigs to. Uh, Bring it home for some tea. It's like winter.